dub changes. Everyone likes hearing about these stories. But don't worry, this time it isn't from Funimation, it's from Sentai Filmworks. See, it would have been too predictable if it came from Funimation, because they're notorious at this point for changing the translation in the dub to mean whatever they want. <laughs> I would not be able to count how many times Funimation added in jokes to anime. Not even funny jokes but for some reason they just felt like the American script really needed those unfunny jokes. So the most recent story about a dub change comes from To Love Rue, where they changed the word old-fashioned to misogynistic, which of course has very different meanings. Old-fashioned could mean, you know, more traditional, more conservative. Misogynistic means you hate women. Very obviously two different meanings to take from this anime. Now, of course, this translation change could be using the word misogynistic as kind of a keyword to link this anime to feminist problems. It could be a political reasoning behind why they decided to change old-fashioned to misogynistic. And those reasons could be personal or it could be the company itself wanting to push that agenda and wanting to make it more westernized about western problems. I definitely agree that feminism is a big problem in America. Now I think what's most interesting about this case in particular is the translator for Sentai Filmworks actually spoke out on Twitter and tried to explain why this change was made. So here's what she had to say on Twitter. I wanted to put this out there because I know folks are mad at me, and honestly, I hate making anyone mad. But there's some difficulties in dubbing you may not be aware of that can affect choices, such as syllable count, animation mouth flaps, and rhythm. Ideally, we keep it as close to the original translation as we can, but dubs just aren't that simple. They have to flow and work with the animation. For you purists out there, subs are definitely for you. And I personally like both, depending on the show. My job as an ADR writer is to make things sound natural and avoid sounding too stiff. There's no one-one trade when it comes to translation. It involves a lot of puzzle solving and spending tons of time with the material. I put a lot of love in my work, I promise no hidden agendas. And I think it's pretty big to actually hear from somebody regarding the dub changes because usually they just stay quiet, they ignore it until people eventually make a YouTube compilation of all the sub to dub changes. But in this particular instance, they actually decided to make a statement about this change and say, look, I know it might look bad, but trust us, we know how to translate things to make it better in the dub. There's no hidden agenda. It's just a coincidence. I appreciate someone actually coming forward to talk about it. That being said, I don't really feel like this is sincere. I mean, a lot of people in the comments kind of pointed out what that's so old fashioned has the same amount of syllables as that's misogynistic. Theoretically, you can swap out those words and not have it be a big deal, or you could swap it with more accurate words. Misogynistic is just not an accurate translation of old fashioned. Someone mentions it here, misogyny doesn't really sound natural in normal dialogue at all. There are lots of other words and phrases that would fit better in the conversation. Changing old fashioned to misogynistic is as bad as Funimation placing pedophile as translation of lollycon. And someone actually mentions here, we don't care if they don't match the mouth movement or sound weird. That is perfectly normal for people of another language. They can be introduced with something that is foreign and they can get used to it. Translating is important for communicating. Someone actually made a post uh, of pictures from a thesaurus. There's so many, uh, come on, come on with the there. There's so many ways to say old fashioned. People forget thesauruses exist. I think another thing that bothers me about this statement that they come out with is it sounds, and I'm not saying that this is intentional, but it sounds kind of condescending. I mean, do people really not know about matching words to a mouth and syllables and all these things that go into translating? I'm pretty sure, you know, most of us are adults and most of us know what the process of dubbing is. I mean, there are entire YouTube series of people just dubbing over anime themselves. Maybe that's just me personally though, who kind of feels like this condescending vibe coming from that. Because I've had my own experiences with uh, translating Japanese songs into English. <laughs> Now 
that's hard. If you think if you think just matching the syllables and mouth flaps is hard, you try translating songs. That's so much harder because you have to make it rhyme too. But maybe there's just because of that, I kind of feel like this sounds kind of condescending, like they're saying, oh, well, the only reason why you disagree is because you just don't understand how much work and, and how hard it is to, to translate something. I think most of us understand. We just disagree with your decision to change old-fashioned to misogynistic. Now, maybe Sentai Filmworks is taking a little bit too much from Funimation in how they run their business. <laughs> maybe they're trying to dub things similarly to how Funimation dubs things by adding in jokes and political agendas. Maybe it really wasn't unintentional. Maybe it was just like a subconscious slip into the real world. Hey, who knows, right? We've all had those moments. But I think it's pretty fair for people to see these types of changes and push back against it and say, hey, we don't want this shit. We want to actually know what the original said. We don't want any translator inserting their own personality into it. We just want them to accurately depict what we originally loved from the anime, not to, not to completely change it and not to change the meaning. Really, it is a good argument for subs when it comes to subs versus dubs. I've mentioned plenty of times before how dubs can completely change the meaning just by not understanding the original intent of the anime. And of course, like I said, Funimation really likes to push jokes into anime. But anyway, that's the, that's the news of late. Tell me what you think of this sub versus dub. And of course, remember to like the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Program restart.